Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. So we're going to be playing through Inscription. Uh, it is spooky season and Inscription's kind of spooky from what I've played of the demo. Uh, it's not like a horror game, but... It feels kind of horror-y, if that makes sense. Like, I should say it is a horror game, but not scary, scary I guess. Uh, what? Why can't I do a new game? Another challenger! It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stout. An honorable death. Play the stout. Say your sacrifice things. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stout stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. The stout dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if the, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. The stout stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to a stout. That means your stout how is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. How reckless of you. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. Um, I guess I'll bring out the wolf. The wolf demands two sacrifices. <laughs> Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you'll see it again.
free damage dealt. Free weights on the scale. Pass. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. I was going to say desert. Lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. The caustic adder, damage for its poison bite, is always fatal. Only one may grace your poultry deck. I guess I'll go with the cat because I can sacrifice it many times. But does that mean it requires a sacrifice? Ah, let's go for the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in a case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales of it. Free as much as you can carry. You are ambushed and while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> You've sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it, baby. You help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. You are lacking sacrifices for the cat. So these are natural obstacles. Did I remind you? Your what? Your items are what? <laughs> Here we go. What does the right do? Many lives. When a card bearing this situation is sacrificed, it does not perish. That's cool, you get the rules. Um, no, I, I think I'm fine. Yeah. It's not an emergency yet. Mine the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. The 
cat deals no damage. Do I want to put the cat out there? I guess there's no reason not to. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! Huh. My bat flew right over your stout. So that will have to kill the boulder, then I can put the uh, river snapper where that is. Ah, okay. You know you can play more than one per card, one card, more than one card per turn. Um, I do. Ah, wolf. Yeah, that's for my wolf there. Ah, I see. So you can sacrifice multiple times. Ah, oh, yeah. so I thought it went back to your hand. It's even better. Another wolf. Okay. Oh, we win. You prevailed and tracked onwards, passing our bloody terrain. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. A meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble flying creature. Oh, we don't have a flying creature yet. So, yeah, attacks the opponent directly. Let's take the sparrow. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Well, the sacrifice is good. I guess a sparrow then. <laughs> You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Why is the stealth the only one that's animated? Um. Okay. Like, should I get the stout or the cat? The cat doesn't have any attack. Will it add attack? I'm not sure. It's okay, stout. Go for it. <laughs> what an honour! A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. And the stoat now flies! That's amazing. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Well, that's not good. 
It's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. When it keeps me around to watch me suffer. So I'll attack directly. Wait, can I choose a card? Oh. Oh, that's true, yeah. Fine. has granted my coyote the power of flight. Ouch. Ah. Okay, I'll save, save us this turn. One damage away from winning. Oh, why did I grab that? Oops. Oh well. <laughs> Wolf, a vicious contender. The watchful bullfrog it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The flighty elk it moves after attacking. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Maybe more wolves. Wolves are like cheap ish and do a bunch of damage. Not great on the health, though, are they? What is this? Have some gold. Let's go to the campfire. You come across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, the wheel will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouths.
What are you just gonna eat it, right? Let's put a wolf in there. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. And gave it more damage, nice. What is this? A grand fur. Stops people from being able to uh, use their air damage things. Okay. That grizzly though, four damage. That's crazy. Four damage, six health up. Not sure I'm going to be able to defend against that. This is crazy. I think I've already lost. Oh dear. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel, beside the door. Have a look around. So there's a hammer and some kind of staff. A candlestick there. Pitch black, but directly behind us. Then we've got a. Uh, oops. We've got a uh, cuckoo clock. Does it fit? Your ring. So if we go directly down you know, below this, does the doors open at the bottom? No. Is this just a portrait? Or a mirror? Oops. So we can't go... So the safe, but we don't seem to be able to go closer than that. There's the wooden figures from the campfire. Flashing. That's the candlestick he wants us to grab. There's a knife by the... Uh, Squirrel. 
guess you have to put something in there to release the knife. Hmm. Locked chest. Wolf. And like a wooden cage. Blaze is definitely is enough. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Okay, well, what was the ring for? Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? I guess let's go to the campfire again. The monster is grisly. Its form speaks in love of its viciously. Viciously? Hmm, not sure. The wolf. The elk. I'm going to go for the grizzly. Let's have one of those. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's enough room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Maybe we should power up stout. The health of the stout was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors begins pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdraw. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist ascended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. It was the prospector. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. Okay, stout friend. Pack mule. Coyote. Yep.
Yeah, only one, okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! He attacks over so he's not attacking it! Oh no! I guess I'll give her the stout. Oh no, it's gonna kill a wolf. Damn it. Oh well. Ah. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them there cards. What? What? Gold! I've struck gold! Cheating bastard. Nice. God damn it! It's my mule! Oh, damn. I need that extra guy. Extra go. More gold for me! Yeah, I really need extra, that extra life for that boss. Damn it. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Okay, I'll use that for cost. Cost two blood from the wolf. And then another this time, and I will use its power and health. The numbers. Oh, that one. Yep, four power and two health. Now choose a card from which we will extract the Sidious. 
She drove many lives from the cat. I never did ask your name. Now do I put my name? Or do I put an animal? All these other things are animals. Okay, we just put my name. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourcefulness... Uh, the resource for possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Ah, we have another squirrel. Well, we have no cards. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Is that now? Mighty leap. Two seven three.
Is that all I need for the safe? Stink bug. Wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt? Is, is the stout around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. And a key. I forgot I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Skink. There's nothing else in there, right? Sealed. Ah, nice. Okay. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. That's more. Aged wolf, curious.
Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time you will understand its power. Oops. Oh, is this us? I, I guess so. Wait, it's not to go in. It's not to go in here, is it? Okay, back to the uh, table, I guess. That's the book that has more secrets. Well, I did speak about the... Uh, Dagger. Oh. These are all covered. Yes, yeah, so we go around circles, I think. I think we've seen everything then. Let us continue. The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach returns to your hand after dying. Four bones. I mean, that might be useful. It's undying, returns to your hand, and it requires four bones, so... Yeah, let's go for the cockroach. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. There's nothing around, is there? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your, your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Well, I think there's nothing for me to do. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Choose one. Yeah, I want you to skip your turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. It's bleeding it yields free blood if you can ignore the bleeding.
I'll take the black goat. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. <laughs> you again? Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I bet he told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I don't call him a friend. I suppose we are in deep this time. All the birdies. I'll go for a card, can I? Okay. Two bones, you require two sacrifices. on their side on the table, so one. Power in numbers, the ant's creed. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Slow way. The ordinary porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Bullfrog. And me! What's that gonna go for me? Let's go to the campfire. Ah, two to health. Pick something else. <laughs> I shall increase my health. Yes. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your mic. Oops. I always forget that they do damage first. Uh, 
Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking for, for that. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. <laughs> ah, so as so long as I can balance the scales, I, yeah, I have one dwindle. Total misplay. <laughs> the fevered, no, the fervid, fervid, fervid mantis. Its prying claws strike both to the left and right. The meddlesome bat, a minor terror. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the bat. Still loads of uh, items, so we'll go here. Ah, uh, we sacrifice to empower. Loses one power, eh? Do I actually want any of this? <laughs> so these are the ones I can empower, but I can't sacrifice these ones. I could sacrifice a stink bug. I see you have a lot less that I can uh, sacrifice. Could give flying to something. So I got one health. <laughs> 
But then flying means it doesn't damage the thing next to it. Like what's in front of it. Uh, maybe the, the opossum? Because that's only two. Caged wolf. Tell me what this is. Hmm. Yeah, I guess give flying to uh, the stout again, I guess. <laughs> so strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Coyote will immediately kill him. We have to sacrifice something to put that down. So could I take you out, you there, put me there. to get rid of your power. attack. And you have me here. I surrender. But then I don't get the gold teeth, right?
Tall snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Ah, the elusive otter submerges itself during my turn. Yeah, it's good for the snapper. Warm a creature by a fire and hunt its power, said a hungry survivor. <laughs> yeah, maybe a two and six. My boss battles are high stakes, tests of your aptitude. With one flame you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Goddamn cheater. The incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. The Prospector! Yeehaw! That caged wolf! He hit that for a reason! The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it! Prospector boss again! So the hell's a smoke? Oh, it gives you bones! Damage is there now. Well, that's not great. That's not good at all. Can you move cards afterwards? I guess you can't. Might have screwed myself. So many bones. Draw a new card. Hey, bones, do I have left? Do I have enough bones? No. Okay, then. Take Darren, I'll do some damage to the pack meal. Okay. A river snapper. Yeah, 
Like, can I? You were as unfaltering as the cockroach. There we go. There's gold in them cards. Go, 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 they've struck gold. Such a cheating bastard. Oh. Work around. Wait, how do I get gold? I gotta wait. So just one health. He's not gonna damage me. So what I'll do, throw that out, sacrifice these two. Um, throw that out. I get a bunch of cards, nice. Dang that bit! Ooh, that was close. Oh. 
It doesn't fly, so I can't do much about it. Kills that fucker off. Beaver, what does that do? My card bearing this city was played. Damage created on each empty adjacent space. Damage defined as zero power to health. Okay. Not really any useful right now. Squirrel. Play the squirrel. And the ant queen. And the squirrel. And work around. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? It's basically the same as the cat then. Child 13. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. When a card bearing this city was placed, uh, played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. I guess if the sacrifices would be good. Okay, I'll go for the child. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or sliver. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. <laughs> 